Okay, how you doing? This is Tom, and this is Tom's Radio Room Show. And we're going to take advantage of the good weather that we're having today. And uh, we do have some shadows and lights there, so that, that'll that make it a little less than perfect. But what the heck do you expect from an amateur like me? Anyway, we're going to try some reception testing. We're outside. Um, there is a power line about mm, 30 feet from me. So normally it doesn't cause any problems, but you never know. And we're going to check out, we're not comparing these two, we're just taking advantage of the weather and going to do reception testing of these two radios. This is the Sea Crane Skywave radio, and this is the DGEN DE13 emergency radio which also has a shortwave band so we're going to start with the degen first and we're going to put the telescopic antenna it is 3 45 p.m eastern daylight time in florida um, conditions typically start getting better after three o'clock here in the afternoon so hopefully they'll be pretty good we will see and uh, I don't know if it's it's in the We're also very very close to a little airport that's uh, line of sight about a mile from me and the flight the flight plant not the flight plan but the flight path is about a block from me. So that's you're gonna hear the little airplanes coming and going. So anyway, we're going to turn this on. And hopefully it still has a charge. Yeah, it does. And we're on shortwave band 1, which goes from 5.8 megahertz to 10 megahertz. And we'll see what we can get. Straighten the antenna up here. And I hope this is showing up. I have no idea what it is or not. Something there, I can't quite tune it in. It's about 6.5 megahertz. Yeah, I couldn't tune it in. Oh, here comes another plane. They're all coming home. Not too much on the lower band here. There we go. That's our good old buddy from Tennessee. Loud and clear. It's about 8.5 megahertz. Okay, that's enough of him. There's another station there. Not sure what that is. It looks like it's about 8.7 megahertz, maybe. Pretty strong. Went on. Oop, there's a loud one. Spanish speaking. Another Spanish. Couldn't quite get that one in. There's our good buddy from Tennessee again, up at maybe 9.2 megahertz. There he is again. Ooh. That's about 9.5 something. Another Spanish station. 
about 9.6, 9.7. There's another one, Spanish. There's our good buddy again. Oh my gosh. I'm surprised I can't get WWV on this. Okay, let's switch to shortwave 2, which goes from 11.6 megahertz to 18.2. And we're going to start at 18.2 and work down. There's something there. Yeah, I lost it now. It's another station. Kind of weak. At about, hmm, maybe. 17.9, I'm guessing. Whoa. Wherever that was, it was loud. I lost it now. Where'd you go? Hmm. There was something there for a second. It was really loud. Can't find it again. There's something that's pretty weak. Uh, maybe 17.5 Spanish speaking don't know what that is now one thing I might be getting is I have a CB operator down at the end of the block who runs a lot of power he's got a humongous antenna and he just he bleeds all over my radios all bands so sometimes I pick him up and it's kind of Donald Duck so I can't understand what he's saying because it might be seeing a side band that sounds like some kind of digital data We're down to about 8.5 megahertz. There's one. That's the religious station. I don't remember where it's out of, but it's not far away. Loud and clear. Boy, that is loud. There's one close by. It's a little weak. About 8.1 megahertz. There's that lady again. Strong. About 7.6 megahertz. I'm guessing at the frequency. Spanish station. Spanish language station. Because a lot of the uh, international stations broadcast in various languages, and Spanish is one of the many they use. Another Spanish station at probably 7.2. Not sure what that is. Ah, uh, there's our lady again. That's my CV buddy. When he's on the air, he's all over the band. He's probably running a kilowatt of power. And he usually does it on Sunday and Saturday afternoons. And I've even 
I've even occasionally picked him up on a pair of speakers with the radio turned off. It just comes into the speaker coils. There's some music at about 6.2. Very strong Spanish speaking. I think that's out of Tennessee. Okay. So that's that radio. That's the Degen DE13. Now we'll go to the Z Crane Skyway radio. We'll turn it on its antenna. Let's see, it's about same. No, it's a little longer than the DGEN. Now, I'm going to cheat here. I'm going to use the ATS function to get through it quicker because we're running pretty long on this video. There we go. So it starts at the uh, lower international band, 2.3 megahertz. And it's scanning. So far it's not found anything it likes. I'm gonna take my hands off of it. It's up to 5.9 and hasn't found anything it liked. Again, I'm using the ATS function. And the bandwidth is set to three kilohertz, which is the default. I did get a response back from uh, C. Crane, and he does say that you can adjust the bandwidth, and it does take effect when you're using the ATS function. So you can affect how the ATS function wor works by changing the bandwidth. Okay, so far we've found nothing. Okay, there we. Oh no, I take that back. I just couldn't see it. We're actually up to 10. We got 10 stations and or noise that we found. Again, this type of, whoa, this type of testing um, can take a long time. And I, you know, I don't want to run the video too long. So that's why I'm cheating and using the ATS function. And I'll go through what it found and then I'll do some scanning of a couple bands. To try to wrap this up. Up to ch page two, channel two already. About to finish up here. There it finished. Okay. We're on page one, channel one. This is what I found. Turn the volume up. Spanish station. Very clear. And now, of course, I can see what the frequency is 5.025. And let's go to number two. 9.370, that's our uh, good buddy on the religious station in Tennessee, go to three, Spanish music, 9.445, ooh, full scale, 9.565, Spanish, five, Spanish, very strong, 6, 9.980, again the uh, religious gentleman, uh, 7, mm, nothing heard, 8, full, oh there it is. It should tell me what it is, but I don't know what it is. 12.05. Radio Ringo or something. It's 8, 9. A lot of Spanish. Is it 10? 
Sounds like Latin. Oh, WWCR. Yeah. Well, I'm listening to you on 12.16 megahertz. Okay, we'll go to page two. And channel one. The volume's a little low, but it's clear. It sounds like. Hmm. Yeah, I can't say. It's 15.14. Very clear. Full scale. Well, sometimes it's full scale. Let's go to two. Loud and clear. Probably out of Tennessee. 15.275. Three. And I guess that's where it stopped because it went back down in frequency, which means that's probably a preloaded frequency. So you can see this radio did very well, and the stations it got come in very strong. Again, I'm not trying to compare the reception of these two radios. This is uh, an $80. $89 radio and this is a $27 radio so I'm not trying to compare the two but just wanted to at this time since I had weather conditions and everything I want to do a reception test on both radios so that's the test for the day thanks for watching bye bye I hope it showed up we never know because I really really need a cameraman bye bye Now I'll see if I can get up without tripping over the camp. And we're hopefully...